Welcome to this tutorial. Generation of texture coordinates is another powerful feature in OSG Composer. Sometimes we need to apply textures to objects to give them more realistic look. Like this carpet texture for example, or this flooring texture. In this tutorial I'm going to apply textures to these two computer screens, to these drawers, cases, and to this floor. Since textures are applied to materials, I'm going first to display the material tree by going to Materials, Manage Materials. I want to make sure that both screens are using the same material so that I don't have to apply the texture twice. Obviously they are not, so I'm going to select this second material, then delete it and pick the first one. For the drawer spaces, yes. They are using the same material. So let's begin by going to Tools, Generate Texture Coordinate. This is the texture generation window. As you can see, we have four different texture types to choose from and a number of the texture generation variables that we can use to modify the generated texture. I'm going to select one of the screens. Then, in the Properties window, I'm going to navigate the texture file I want to apply. By default, OSG Composer will attempt to apply the texture as a plain type texture. It did, but the texture needs modification by giving it a 180 degree rotation, selecting both screens by holding down the control key, then apply. Still, the texture is flipped around with the axis, so I'm going to give it a minus one hue scale, then apply. The texture has been applied on the screen separately. By checking the group object option, then apply again. Both screens now are treated as a single object and the texture has been stretched along them. I'm checking this option again, then apply. Now for the drawers, I'm going to select one of the drawers, then in the properties window again, navigate to the texture file. Upon application, the color of the drawers has been changed, but the texture is not showing yet. The box texture type with the cast option would be the best geometry to represent this, these drawers. I'm going to reset my variables again, then apply. See, it's a beautiful wooden texture applied so easily. Select the second one, then apply. To look more natural, I'm going to give the texture a little bit of offset then apply. See, what the offset variable did is that it shifted the texture by the amount I input. For the third one, I'm going to give a 0.5 offset, then apply, then a 0.7 offset, then apply. Now for the globe, I'm going to select Globe geometry, then again navigate to the texture file. Zoom to object. The texture has been applied, but it's not right. I'm going to select the sphere texture type, then reset my variable, then apply. See how beautiful that was? That is, and it was done so easily. Beautiful. All. Now to study the other variables, I'm going to use this carpet texture. It's a plain texture type. I'm going to first to give it 30 degrees rotation, then apply. The rota rotation variable rotates the texture by the amount I input. Back to zero, then apply. 
Now the scale, I'm going to give a 3 by 2 scale, then apply. The texture has been scaled 3 by 2. Back to default. For the last one, the offset, I'm going to give 0.2 by 0.5, then apply. See, this offset variable shifts the texture by 0.2. 0.5 along the U and D direction. Back to default. And I'm done. Thank you.